up y'all welcome back to my channel serendipity today i have a little bit of a different one it's uh this one is learn english with ricky gervais and carl Pilk pilkington this is my first comedian uh comedic um reaction i know who ricky gervais is probably m most known for him hosting the oscar no the golden globes he basically said everything that the American people wanted to say, but um, he got to speak for us. It was definitely, that Golden Globes was definitely different. Instead of two hours of people like just kissing up to the Hollywood stars, he basically just put the whole show down. It's really funny to watch. I will sit, if I need to laugh, I will watch that again just because how how funny it is and it's completely different because especially like with award shows it's a non-stop like congratulating um uh, these artists which i'm not saying don't congratulate them because some of them work really 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 hard to be where they're at but it was just completely different than any award shows I've ever watched, which I never watched the Golden Globes. I only watch literally Ricky Gervais's thing that they have on YouTube because I don't know. I don't watch a lot of movies. I don't watch a lot of shows. So um, I would have been just bored for about two hours. But yeah, anyway, that's where I know Ricky Gervais from. I, I never heard or seen Carl Pilkington. Yeah. So I have no clue what to expect. It's learn English. So it's probably, it's. I'm sure it's going to be hilarious. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Hello, and welcome to Learn English with Ricky Gervais. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Carl Pilkington. I was trying to be one of those videos. I won't be speaking your language. I won't be translating what I say. I'll just be speaking English, okay? The translation will come up on the bottom of the screen. This is my friend, Carl Pilkington. He is bold. He is bold. He has no hair. Carl Pilkington has no hair. Yeah, I know. They can see I've got no hair. No, I know. Well, what, what do they need to know that for? If they learn a, a language, yeah. bald isn't a bald, a bald head isn't isn't that important. Teach them how to ask for bread or milk. We'll get to that. <clears throat> but this is about sort of friendship and family, you know. So it's all useful. There's so many words, you know, they might as well start somewhere. There's if too many words. There's a lot of words. <laughs> lot of words. So you say it. Carl Pilkington is bold. Carl Pilkington. Carl bold. Pilkington has got a head like a fucking orange. Right, I, I really don't know why <laughs> they need to learn this. Because they might need to say that one day. No, but I get enough abuse now from English people. I don't want Chinese suddenly turning up going, I bought a fucking orange. <laughs> Teach them how to say milk. I need milk. Milk for tea. Coffee. Teach them useful stuff. OK, well, do, well, 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 go and teach them something then. Who am I talking to? People around the world, they can't speak English yet. So what are they... Well, so, Chinese, Chinese well, doesn't are the do, Okay, what? I've been to China, and none of them know English. Right. So they need to learn English. Okay. So, um, what would they want to know? You see, they don't need to know about milk, because they don't like milk. They think English people smell of milk. They smell of milk. <laughs> smell. What does smell mean, Carl? Smell. Um, stink. Fucking hell. You smell. <laughs> Rank. <laughs> Rank. So, you've got a Chinese fella, he's coming over here, and he's learned the word rank, meaning you stink. Smell. 
stank, stunk. <laughs> that stunk. <laughs> Give an example. Um, you smell. You shit. <laughs> <laughs> because you told me you said they want to know about smell. Yeah, right. But why are you teaching them without prepositions and proper grammar? Why are you teaching them to speak like this? Mmm, stink, you shit. Why are you teaching them to speak? Uh, to just speak proper English. Right, okay then. Um... Always speak proper English. Okay, tell them. Um. So what, what do they want to know? Well, what's, what smell mean? This, okay, smell. This is about, so we're featuring okay, the word okay, wait, smell. Wait. Smell. This is about the word smell. <laughs> I'm trying to be proper. When smells, they know what it means. Mm. It's when something um, stinks. When well, it, no, it doesn't always mean that, because it, it's also a oh, verb. Right, a nice smell. It's also a verb to smell. It's a verb. Smell is a verb. Yes, but what they've got to remember is if they go up to someone and go, you smell, it's not always positive. You right. wouldn't. You, you, you say you smell nice. Right. But if you say you smell, they'll get a smack in the face. Smack in the face. Smack in the face. Carl, what's a smack in the face? When someone thumps you. Thump. <laughs> <laughs> the worst English lesson ever. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, do you. <laughs> Okay. What would they want to let you see that? Well, I don't think I've ever on. seen Ricky Gervais smile. No. Well, Just we should because different people want different things. Right. So what would Chinese want? They come to England. Right. What do they want? Why are you talking to me like I can't understand? Because English I'm now. trying to think how what to be clear to them. Okay. So I'm okay. dropping out. So forget where they come from, wherever they come from in the world, they all want the same things. No, okay. but, but words don't mean the same thing. At certain places, there's people where it stinks in the world. They wouldn't come to England and need to say it smells because they're from a smellier place. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> milk. Let's do milk. OK, let's do milk for anyone who isn't English. OK, OK, I'll, I'll, um, OK. We will act out a scenario now where you might need milk, OK? Hello, Carl. Right. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, strong. What tea bags have you got? <laughs> <laughs> that is a that is a that is a question I ask <laughs> because it all depends on the amount of milk. Do you have Thai food? That means more milk. Thai foo does not mean more milk. No, it's a very strong tea bag. Right. Twinings, little bit. This isn't, they don't need to know the details. This isn't a travel guide. This is just, <laughs> this is English for people right, who start can't again, speak English. Start again. Then. Okay. Hello, Carl. Oh, yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love one. I'm gasping. How do you like it? Strong, no sugar. Tea bag, okay? What? Yeah, tea bag, yeah. Oh, that should be all right. Would you like some milk? Just a drop. A drop, not much. Would you like semi-skimmed milk? Yeah. Skim semi-skimmed milk. Whoa. <laughs> all right, that. Carl is enjoying his tea. He had it strong with a drop of milk. So that's the basics. Uh, uh, in England, we like to drink tea. We drink tea. We also drink coffee. We also drink beer. Let's go shopping. He doesn't look so, amused uh, at all. I'll, I'll just come into a shop. Okay. Drink. Afternoon. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I want a fish. What sort of fish do you want? We've got loads. What sort of fish are there? Loads. I haven't got time, to be honest. You've come in at a busy time. Have a look <laughs> and come back to me. Um, I don't know what... What type of fish is this? That's a, a kipper. Okay. 
A kipper. What's a kipper? <laughs> Chinese and Japanese know fish really well. Okay. They don't need to stop to thinking we're just talking to Chinese and Japanese. I don't know where the Japanese came from. It's, it's, it was just Chinese people. <laughs> this is for anyone who wants to learn English. Anywhere around the world. They might be Spanish. They might be French. They might be German. Okay? Why do you only care about the Chinese learning about this? Because most Spanish people can speak English. They've been taught it. But right. all right, kipper. Okay. It's a fish. It's sort of um, a fishy sort of fish. There's some <laughs> fish that's more meaty. Tuna. What sort of thing are you after today? Is this for you or for someone else? This is for me. I'd like to buy a fish, please. Right, but, you've, but surely you know what kipper is. Look at it. Look at the fish. Here it's called kipper. Where are you from? <laughs> I don't speak English. <laughs> I'd just wrap any old shit up and give it... <laughs> you like this. Tenor. Rip you off. <laughs> because I'm busy. And that's what happens in this country. That's what they want to be careful of if they're watching this. If you come into England, don't be ripped off. Rip off. <laughs> Conned. <laughs> Taken advantage of. Um, done up like a kipper. Done up like <laughs> a kipper. Look at this foreigner. I done him up like a kipper. This is when English gets complicated because kipper, <laughs> a lot of English words can mean many things. Um, where? Where? Same word, different thing. Wearing. Where have you been? I'm wearing a jumper. Where have you been? Where? Brilliant. One word, <laughs> two meanings. At the spa. Hello. I'd like to book an appointment for a treatment. Okay, when are you, um, when are you thinking? Um, we're busy all today. Tomorrow? Can we just do it today? Can it just be available now? Can't we just do it that it's available now? There's nothing, it's... Well, all it's... right, I can fit you in. Someone hasn't turned up yet, so we can get you in, sort of, in ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. <clears throat> what would you like? Um, I would like... A back, crack and sack waxing, please. I would like my back waxed, my crack waxed and my sack waxed. Right. Do you do the treatments yourself? No. I'd like you to. Well, I can't. Why not? Because I have to be on reception, taking calls. Well, OK. <laughs> you can't request who's doing your sack, your crack or your back. There's a woman in the back who does your crack. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> it's fucking insane. Right, that's enough of that. No, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know who's going to learn anything Wait, wait, this. wait, wait. OK. So, OK, right, OK. OK. Well, ask me some questions. Well, okay. oh, I, I don't okay. have to ask you any questions. I said okay. you can be going in ten minutes. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm a worse kid. I'm not paid or qualified <laughs> to be sorting your Wait, wait, out. OK, wait, wait, OK. <laughs> Actually, thinking about it, the hair on my crack hasn't grown back, nor has the hair on my back. But my sack is very hairy. Wait, my sack is very hairy. Um, I, I don't need my back waxed or my crack waxed, but I need my sack waxed. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm surprised you haven't done it yourself, <laughs> because it's the back and the crack that's the difficult bit. The sack you can do yourself. Oh. And to be honest, it should all be growing at the same time. No, so there's something wrong with you. No, you've got a hairy bollock. <laughs> when your back, is, your back is lovely and bald. Right. You don't need it doing... Bald. Bald. Oh, my, my back <laughs> is bald. Yeah. My crack is bald. My sack needs waxing. Right. Um, right. It's quite an emergency. My balls are very hairy. Can I have them waxed, please? Yes. How much just for the balls? £15. For £15. Two. For the both. For two. Okay, yes. that's good. So, 7 50 each. 
It's seven fifty. Yeah, but we don't split it. That's that's the price. Yes. You yes. can't have one done. No, it's I have two. Pounds. I have two balls. I have two balls. How many balls do you have, Carl? Two. Carl has two balls. Are your balls hairy? Average. Okay. Which is strange because Carl's balls are hairy, but he is bald on his head. <laughs> his head looks like a ball. His head looks like a bald I testicle. I love how like agitated Carl he looks. Has a head like a bald testicle, but his testicles aren't bald. Okay. How long will it take to wax my balls? Uh, ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So it's um, fifteen pounds and ten minutes. Um, can you do it? Can you can you do it now, please? No, I won't be doing it. You'll Why? be meeting Leslie in the back room. Uh, oh, I don't really. I'm a little bit shy. I know you. Could you? You don't know me. You've just turned up. <laughs> Could you wax my balls? No. I'm not waxing your balls. Bollocks. Uh, scrotum. Um. What else is the test eye? <laughs> if you're having one done. <laughs> Bollocks. Sack. <laughs> uh, oh. What else is this? Oh. Okay, okay, right. we've done Go that on. waxing. Okay. At the doctor's. Hello, doctor. Hello. I have a pain. Okay, what's where, whereabouts is the pain? My mm. anus. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is worth using learning in a language. You go home. If you're ill, go home. No, if, if, if a foreign fella is in this country... He can and go to the doctors and use our, our NHS system if he had an achy arse. He'd get on the first flight home. Why aren't you going travelling? You're here as a tourist. Yes. Yeah? Right, we'll see London. Instead of worrying about your airy bollocks, see the London Eye. The London Eye. <laughs> <laughs> Tower of London. These are things that are going to be useful to them. OK. Tower of London. London Eye. Buckingham Palace. The Queen. <laughs> I've never been on holiday and had to have my anus seen to. I haven't, had, I haven't seen too much on here. Oh. Give them useful words. Fromage. Why are you teaching them a French word if we're teaching them English? I'm just saying useful phrases. Right. Uh, I've got a headache. Um, okay. What would you do? Okay. What scenario would you do to teach them? Who Carl are you? will now teach you a useful scenario. Yeah, who are you? Any, anyone you want me to be. What do you want to do? The bins haven't been emptied. Who, uh, uh, okay. Who are you? You're making this scenario up. This so who, is your... So who are you then, the council? <laughs> it's up to you. Right, you're my neighbour. Okay. Why do you keep putting bins out? The bin men doesn't come till Thursday. You keep putting bins I'm out. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm very sorry. I'm having a bit of trouble. I woke up this morning and it's the worst it's ever been. I'm going to this stand this. I've got a prolapse rectum, and I've just tended my testicles are very, very low because I'm old. I'm blanketed. Yeah, the, all right. Listen, can hair. you just put the bins out on the first <laughs> time? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He sounds like uh, the old guy from Conjuring 2. If you've watched Conjuring 2, it sounds like the, the old guy that died in the house. That literally sounds just like him. My, my balls yeah. are so low that I'm an old man. Can you put right the bins there, out like the that sounds the just like come till a Thursday. It's Tuesday. You're putting bins out too early. There's foxes getting at them. There's shit all over the place. <laughs> There's dirty underpants you keep putting in the bin. I've told you, it attracts foxes. Stop putting the fucking bins out <laughs> two, two fucking days early when they've got to sit there and it attracts shit. I'm trying to sell me flat. There's dirty, shitty undies all over the fucking pavement. <laughs> This has happened to you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah, it has. <laughs> I was going to say, it sounds pretty yeah, personal. It sounds... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god, he's so. That was so funny. I love how 
Carl was like, was very like just agitated, like just like this little like angry person. He kind of reminded me, what I think was so funny about him as well is that he kind of reminded me of my uncle because my uncle's almost just like that. Like he's funny as can be, but he's not like a person that's going to be like telling jokes. He's just so like, he just has a little like agitative like personality where it's just it's funny actually like ricky gervais and them like them going back and forth reminded me a lot of like my family and how they joke around it's not really like jokes or stuff it's really kind of like almost like picking on each other that makes everything so much more like funny so i really really enjoy that i really want to look into more of carl i've seen a little bit here and there of ricky gervais um but carl seems really 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 funny yeah that was my first like British comedic really anything anything with comedy uh this was my first one you know if you liked it if you do like subscribe uh it lets me know that you <laughs> that you enjoyed it yeah that's all I got I hope you enjoyed it and like always there's more to come and I'll see you in the next one